Hello P6, it's time for us to think about Tuesday's maths activities. And for our warm up today, we're going to begin with a difference pyramid. Now, we've done lots of next door number activities. A difference pyramid is different because instead of adding, we're going to take away instead. So we start at the bottom, just like we do with the next door numbers, but instead of adding the two numbers together, we're looking to do a takeaway sum. So we're looking for the larger number, take away the smaller number. So in the first one, if I've got 47 and 36, well, the larger number is 47. So what is 47 take away 36? 47 take away 36, well, take away 30, take away six, that's gonna give me 11. So the difference between 47 and 36 is 11. What's the difference between 36 and 7? 36 take away 7. 36 take away 7 is going to be, yep, 29. What's the difference between 7 and 41? A well, big number, take away the smaller number. So 41 take away 7. What's that going to be? 41 take away 7. Yep, yeah, it's going to be 34, isn't it? And then we work our way up to the next line. So I've got 11 and 29. What's the difference between those two? So 29, take away 11. Yep, yeah, that's going to be 18. What's the difference between 29 and 34? So 34, take away 29. Yep, yeah, that one's going to be 5. What's the top spot going to be? Difference between 18 and 5. It's going to be 13. So in a difference pyramid, we are trying to find the difference between the two numbers. The larger number, take away the smaller number. So that's your warm up for today. There are two levels for that activity. For today's main activity, we're going to go back to thinking about telling the time and we're going to think once again about everything we've been doing so far. We're going to practice telling the time in 12 hour clock, in 24 hour clock, and using the hands on a clock, an analog clock. And today we're also gonna practice counting on and counting back. Now, we've already done quite a bit of work on 12 hour clock and 24 hour clock. If you can't remember uh, too much about that, why don't you go back and watch some of the previous videos uh, from our P6 YouTube channel. Go back and watch some of those time videos and they'll help you out. There are also some activities in Education City to help you go over that. But what we've been doing is we've been practicing telling the time and converting it from one type of clock into another one. So for example, if I use this teaching clock and I've given you the link P6, so do use this clock from Top Marks when you're doing today's work. If the time is 8.30 a.m., well, 8.30 a.m., another way of saying that is half past eight in the morning. So there's half past eight in the morning. I've got my a.m. time. What would that be in 24-hour clock? Well, if it's 8.30, and there's it in digital time, 8.30 a.m., what does 8.30 a.m. become in 24-hour clock? Well, it becomes 0.830. Oh, in 24-hour clock, what I have to remember is that I have to have four numbers. In 24 hour clock, I have to have two digits for the hours and two digits for the minutes. 12 hour clock doesn't have to have two digits for the hour. It's okay to only have one. We wouldn't put a zero in front of that if we don't need it. So that would be 8, 30, but 12 hour clock has to have either a.m. or p.m. So if it's 8.30 a.m., that would become 08.30. Now, do you remember the main difference between 12-hour clock and 24-hour clock? 12-hour clock counts from 12 midnight. It counts around the first group of 12 hours, it's a.m. Then the second group of 12 hours becomes p.m. In 24-hour clock, it's like we're using a stopwatch. We've started the stopwatch at midnight and we're counting exactly how many hours and how many minutes it's been since midnight. We don't use a.m. or p.m. in 24 hour clock. What about this time? 11.45 a.m. Okay, well, let's make that on the analog clock. So if it's going to be 11.45, well, let's make it, there's half past 10, half past 11. Then we'll add on another 15 minutes. 
So there's 11.45 a.m. What's that going to be in 24-hour clock? Well, in 24-hour clock, the hour will still be 11. The minutes don't change. When I'm swapping from 12-hour clock into 24-hour clock, the minutes do not change. They stay the same. It's only the hours that might change. The 8 became 0 8. The 11 stays as 11. I've got my two digits. I don't need to add anything else back in. We're still before midday. So we're still in an AM time. Let's cross over the midday. Let's go to 1.10 p.m. So let's make it 1.10. So we'll make it 10 past. There's 12.10. Let's bring it round to 1.10. So there's 1.10. And now we're at a p.m. time. We've crossed 12 midday. So now we're into our p.m. times. Now what's that going to be in 24 hour clock? Well, because we've crossed into the p.m. times, once we get to 1 p.m., when I look at my R, I have to add on 12 hours. So 1 plus 12 becomes 13. The 10 stays exactly the, the same. So if it's 10 past 1, if I've added on my 12 hours, then a 24 hour clock, that becomes 13, 10. What about my last one for now? 5.25 p.m. So let's make it 5.25. So there's 25 past. So that's 1.25. Let's bring it around to 2.25. Another R will make it 3.25. Another R, 4.25. And one more R, let's make it 5.25. So there's 5.25 p.m. We're in a p.m. time. So once we get from 1 p.m., when we're looking at the R, we add on 12 hours. So 5 add 12 is 17. The 25 doesn't change. It stays exactly the same. So if I wanted to write 5.25 p.m. as a 24-hour clock time, then that becomes 17.25. Now, P6, for your activities today... To help you out, something that might be really useful for you today would be to use this top marks clock or also from our website, go and download the 12 hour and 24 hour clock poster and use that, have that sitting beside you to help you out. For your first activity today, we're all starting off by doing the same activity. And for our first activity today, we're gonna to have a look at this page. On this page, you have been given the times, first of all, as, tw as 12 hour clock times, and you need to change them into 24 hour clock. And then in part two, the other way around. So you've been given them as 24 hour clock. You need to change them back into 12 hour clock. Don't forget the difference. When we're thinking about the difference between 12 hour clock and 24 hour clock, 12 hour clock must have AM or PM. And it might only have one number for the hours. 24 hour clock doesn't have AM or PM and it must have four digits. Two digits for the hours, two digits for the minutes. So everybody, I'd like you to have a go at this page, swapping your times over from 12 hour or 24 hour clock. Part three, same idea. Part four, you've been given a group of times. Can you put them in order starting with the earliest? Then at that point, P6, you're going to choose one of two activities to do next. For your second written activity, if you choose to do the slightly lower level activity, for this one, I would like you to draw the hands in the clock and give me the 12 hour and 24 hour clock time to match each of these. Now in each of these, I've asked you to add on or subtract a little bit of time. So you might be asking to add on an hour or take away 30 minutes or add on 20 minutes or take away 45 minutes, whatever it happens to be. Work out what the time is going to be and can you show me that time in three separate ways as a 24 hour clock, as a 12 hour clock and as an analog clock. Using the top marks clock will be a really big help to you. So that's one of the activities you might choose to do that one or you might choose to do this one. 
which is a little bit harder, not that much harder. If you choose to do this activity, P6, then you have been given a notice board, which has got lots of events that are happening. Maybe if you were going away on holiday and you were staying at some fancy hotel with lots of different events happening, these are maybe the sort of things that you might choose to go and do. For each of them, what you need to do is take each time and some of them have been given to you in 12 hour clock, some of them have been given to you in 24 hour clock. I'd like you to change all of them into 24 hour clock times. Then put those events in order and work out which one comes first, comes fourth, seventh and last. Do a little bit of adding on time or taking away time for part three. And then for your final part, for part four, you are working out which events take place between which times. No matter which activity you choose, whether you choose to do that activity or whether you choose to do that activity, the answers are available on the website. Once you've done all of that, P6, then I've found a brilliant game for you to have a go at in Maths Frame. Um, it's all to do with finding the start time, so have a go at that. You've got a reasoning challenge to do, which is all to do with subtraction. And if you've still got any time, P6, keep going with Prodigy. Lots of you are doing fantastic work on Prodigy. Keep it up. It's a really great way for you to practice your math skills. Have fun.